I'm going to show you some free software that you can play with at home called Eyes on Exoplanets. And it's made by NASA. You can go to eyes.nasa.gov to download it and play with this yourself. So I'm going to show you all of the planets that we've found in the last 25 years that are outside of our solar system. So every single one of these bright yellow or bright orange stars has a planet or more than one planet that's orbiting that star. And we just started discovering them in the past 20 year, 25 years. So you can choose to see uh, some of the weirdest planets that we've discovered so far. Here's an example of one that is a, a planet that's orbiting in a sort of binary star system, which means that it has two suns in its solar system. And this star, anything that's in this blue zone is in the temperature zone where there could be liquid water on the surface of that planet. So we don't know that it has water, but if it does, then everywhere we find on Earth that has water, we find life. And we want to know if we can find life outside of our own planet and outside of our own solar system. So the best places to look are planets that are orbiting their stars at the right distance for the temperature on those planets to be the right temperature for life. And so that's what we're really interested in. You can also search by mission. Here's the Kepler Space Telescope that's orbiting the Earth that was looking at thousands and thousands of, of stars over the course of over a decade. And it was looking in this one direction and every single bright light that you see here is a star that has a planet that's orbiting around it. So this is just the very beginning of understanding what exoplanets are. So exoplanets are extrasolar planets, planets outside of our solar system.